Tim Hendel, and I will be auditioning for the American Players Theater. This is Lady Percy from Henry V, Part Two, Martha from War Crimes, and Till There Was You from The Music Man. Oh my good lord, why are you thus alone? For what offense have I this fortnight been a banished woman from my Harry's bed? Tell me, sweet lord, what is it that takes from thee thy stomach, pleasure, and thy golden sleep? Why hast thou lost the fresh blood in thy cheeks, and given my treasures and my rights of thee to thick-eyed musing and cursed melancholy? In thy faint slumbers I by thee have watched, and heard thee murmur tales of iron wars. Speak terms of manage to thy bounding steed, cry courage to the field! And thou hast talked of sallies and retires, of trenches, tents, a prisoner's ransom, and a soldier slain, and all the currents of a heady fight. Thy spirit within thee hath so been at war. And thus hath so bestirred thee in thy sleep that beads of sweat have stood upon thy brow, like bubbles in a late disturbed stream. And in thy face strange motions have appeared, such as we see when men restrain their breath on some great sudden hest. Oh, what portents are these? Some heavy business hath my lord in hand, and I must know it, else he loves me not. too big and I thought it would be quick for me to start sleeping again. I've been married to you for 26 years, five months, three days, seven hours, ten minutes, I count. <laughs> because I have nothing else to do. I gave birth to our son and spent 20 years trying to keep him safe from the world. He was mine. He was mine for nine months and then he was gone. I lost him as soon as he left me. So then, I tried to keep you safe in yourself. Your anger, your hate, eventually your guilt. And I failed. <laughs> I'm falling in my dreams. You know, I wake up, and instead of rolling into this wall of Changed the whole tenor on how they're viewing the president's trial. I'm sure you'd be pleased to know that. Changing his legacy. Hate crimes. War crimes. Crime is crime, isn't it? Crime is crime. It doesn't need to be qualified. Depriving another person of their life is a crime. Willfully causing them pain is a crime. Whether you're wearing a uniform or not, Going to bed hungry is a crime. Not having a home is a crime. Losing your child is a crime. <laughs> Those are the trials I'd like to see. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, you got so lost the day we looked for our first house. Bought sight unseen. Because the school year had already started and you needed a new teaching job with a new wife and child on the way. You drove in circles. Every street looked the same. Some upstate New York bucolic suburb. You kept muttering, we'd find it. Oh. <laughs> in that same calm, quiet panic that I grew to love. Endless thing. The circles were making me nauseous, so I, I close my eyes and let your voice take me in the dark. It was comforting because I hadn't heard that tone a thousand times over. I'm halfway across the world now, having followed your voice to an inventive life. 
My name is not my own. And I find myself sleeping in a stranger, smaller bed. I'm in the dark, but your voice is gone. Where is it gone? Come back. Come back. We can run again. Somewhere new, just you and I. 